At a memorial service Thursday for a Jordanian pilot executed by Islamic State, rage mixed with grief. Hundreds of soldiers and thousands of mourners from across Jordan packed into the small mountain town of Ay to pay their respects to First Lieutenant Muath al Kasaspe. Among the most prominent guests, King Abdullah II, Jordan's reigning monarch. Ever since a video of the pilot being burned alive surfaced two days ago, Jordanians have united in their calls for vengeance. Jordan's Air Force is already taking the lead among the four Arab states who joined the U.S. coalition in fighting Islamic State last year. But many throughout the country, and especially here at this memorial service, say they want to see Jordan become even more involved. <laughs> On Thursday, Jordan's government announced that it had launched its first airstrikes against Islamic State since the video of Lieutenant Kassas Bey became public. The military dubbed the op the airstrikes Operation Muath the Martyr, after the murdered pilot. Officials say the strikes hit ISIS training camps and weapons depots. But many at Lieutenant Kasaspe's memorial service said they would not be satisfied with anything less than a ground incursion by Jordanian troops, an escalation that would almost certainly lead to a large increase in casualties and grisly execution videos, such as the one of Lieutenant Kasaspe. This is Matt Bradley, reporting for The Wall Street Journal from I, Jordan.